Hello, welcome to this final session of the assemblage course. We will be looking at making sculpture from household waste. Here's an example. This was made um, for the Tavistock Carnival a couple of years ago. So here are my main ingredients. I've got some plastic bottles, some corks, um, some used up um, massive tape rolls, some plastic tubs and lids, some cardboard, some newspaper. And the key to this type of uh, assemblage is trying to think what do these materials suggest. So the pointiness here, this bottle, to me suggests the beak. These, with those, suggests an eye with a pupil in it and that's how my basic starting point is looking at the objects and deciding what they make me think of and it's worth taking your time uh, thinking about this also looking on the internet and seeing what other people have done with recycled materials um, i will show you some examples of other things later on here are the tools i'm going to be using so um, a pair of scissors and a knife. I'm also going to be using a bradle for making holes. And today I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, but you could equally use cellar tape or masking tape because once I've built up my basic structure, then I'm going to cover it uh, with newspaper soaked through with glue. So first of all, I'm going to cut the top off around here and then I need to cut two V shapes coming backwards to create a pointy top and bottom beak. And I'm going just down to the shoulder. OK, so I'll cut the middle line first and then trim it to get that V shape. So I've cut my bottle to create that V shape. And now I want to get the shape of the beak, so I'm going to take this bit here I'm going to fold it in half. So it's really quite hard to create that beak ridge. And the same underneath. I've got my pointy beak. Now I need to join a neck on. I'm going to use another bottle for the neck. Let that air out of this. And I'm going to join it in about there. About there. So mark that area and using something sharp to just push a hole in and took a little bit more than I thought it would and then I can use my scissors to cut that open and I'm not cutting the circle out completely, I'm just cutting across a whole series of folds. So I've slotted that together. Um, notice I am about uh, a third of the way in, just to make sure that it will stand up, though it's not going to topple over. Um, it will hold itself, but I'm going to put a bit of hot glue around there. Uh, and then we will move on to the eyes. So I've glued that in so it's nice and firm. You could tape it in. We might find it just holds all by itself. Before I move on, a quick word about glue guns. Um, glue guns, the tips do get very hot. You can get something called a cool melt glue gun, which isn't quite as hot from a place like Hobbycraft. But something I would recommend is to put it on some sort of a metal tray. OK, 
Okay, so you don't end up burning your table. Okay, put that to one side for a minute. And let's look at the eye. So, I'm going to take a tub and that is going to be out eye socket. Here is going to be the, um, the white of the eye. And then in there, stuck in the, um, sorry, move that in a little bit more, the uh, iris and pupil. I'm going to glue those together and then show you doing the eyelid. So I have my eye glued together. I've made two. And now I'm going to make eyelashes. I did say eyelids, I meant eyelashes. So I've got a half of the lid off of the tub. And what I'm going to do is carefully snip inwards. I'm going all the way, so I don't want them to come apart. Carefully, carefully snipping a whole series of lashes. Be careful I don't cut too far because I don't want it to fall to bits. And that, when glued onto there, will splay out to create the eyelashes. So I'm going to make two of those and then attach it to the head. So first I attach the two eyes together. Notice that I've put them so that the, um, the pupils look in different directions. Uh, I wrap tape around both of them to hold them together and then I wrap tape all the way around start to give the shape of this bird I wrap and tape all the way around now I was going to use the glue gun but I found that the bottle um, melted a little bit with a hot glue so I'm just sticking with the tape and now I'm going to build that the back of the head up a little bit more using some cardboard cut from a tea box. So I'm going to wrap that around like so, attaching it on on both sides. So here is my basic bird. Hopefully you can see its character starting to come together now. And now what I'm going to do is cover it with a newspaper strip soaked in glue in order to build it or make it much firmer. This is going to take a little time. I'm also going to fill across these gaps. Um, so the method for this I would recommend is to cut strips from newspaper. Like so, lots of strips. And then you will need PVA glue and some a bit of water, or you could use uh, wallpaper paste, or you could use flour and water, anything that's sticky enough uh, that you can work through the uh, paper. I'm just going to go and get a bit of water so that I'm ready to show you. So here is my PVA, Maybe just a little bit of water to it so it's nice and runny and I'm going to start to douse these strips in glue and then apply them. Oh, lovely and gluey. And I'm applying them over and down the body to try and solidify the shape. I probably don't need to apply them on the beak or the eyes, but everywhere else I'm going to apply them as a first layer. And once I've got my first layer on, I think I can put this on like that there. So I've got my first layer on. I will start to apply them a little bit looser to give a bit more of a feathery texture. 
So get them nice and gluey. Whoops. So here it is so far, as you can see, I've paper mache around to hold it all together firmly and then loosely attached paper strips to make sort of feathers from there and painted it white. All that's left now is to add, of course, the beak and the eyes and so on. So I'm going to apply that with acrylic paints. All finished. There will now be a slideshow showing you some other examples from students um, exploring this idea of making sculpture from whatever rubbish you can find. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed this course, please fill in the feedback form on our website to help show our funders these courses are valuable. Details coming up now. Bye.